Now joining me, Mayor of uh, Stockton, California, Michael Tubbs, uh, with a fascinating new experiment that they have over there. Uh, Mayor Tubbs, great to have you here. Thanks so much for having me, and yes, Stockton, California. <laughs> okay, so by the way, just before we get started on your interesting experiment, it says in your bio that you're the youngest elected official in Stockton history and one of the youngest elected in the nation overall. So how old are you? I'm 27 now, but I started on city council when I was 22 and was elected mayor at 26. Wow, wow, <laughs> that's change, okay. And you, and it's not just in, in age, you brought in change with you. So you've started the Stockton Economic Empowerment Demonstration. Um, it's seed for short, clever, I get it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what is it? Um, so SEED is the first city-led uh, guaranteed income demonstration. So the idea is that right now we're still in the design phase, but the idea is that at least 100 families will be given $500 a month um, as, a, as a pilot or a demonstration to see that what happens when people are given what people call a basic income or universal basic income or a guaranteed income. So um, Stockton uh, is unfortunately way behind uh, the rest of California. And, uh, and that has nothing to do with you, obviously. It went bankrupt back in 2012 when you were probably in junior high or something. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and now one in four residents live below the poverty line. So you might have to give that 500 bucks to an awful lot of people. So, but you're, are you giving it to everybody or is this just an experiment? And if it's an experiment, how many people do you give it to and how do you decide? Um, so it's a, it's we're, it's not I don't like the term experiment. So it's more of a, a demonstration. Um, we were able to get a million dollars from the Economic Security Project and another quarter million dollars from the Goldbridge Foundation. Um, with that money, we're we're thinking we'll be able to serve 100 families at least with 500 dollars a month for 18 months. And the idea is not that it's going to solve all the issues, but to really kind of help have a conversation in this country about. The current economic conditions that many people live in. Um, I know the folks I know in Stockton work incredibly hard. Some are migrant field workers, some are Uber drivers, some are teachers, etc. And all seem to be struggling in this economy. So the idea is to show the efficacy of the idea of a basic income with the hopes that will spark a larger discussion, not just in the city, but in the state and even the nation around sort of the economic floor people deserve. And uh, so you said 100 people for 18 months. When did the program begin? So the program hasn't begun yet. Um, we're in the design phase now. And the idea is that by Q3 or Q4 um, this year, we'll start the disbursement. And some of the questions on the design are the, many of the same things you brought up in terms of who will be selected, how are they selected, et cetera. We're also working with a research partner. So we're interviewing some of the finest institutions in the world to come alongside us and help kind of research and document and a storytelling partner as well. So we'll be able to show not just does it work or what does what do people do with the money, but also be able to tell some stories of resilience and strength and how something as simple as $500 a month can make a world of difference for families. Yeah, it's a conundrum because if you uh, pick exemplary people to give that money to, they might be in poverty, but they're willing to work hard, etc. cetera. Um, then it might be a skewed, I, I know you don't wanna call it an experiment, demonstration, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> On the other hand, if you pick people randomly, is that the right way to go? It's a really interesting question. So, mm. have you, do you have a point of view on which way you should go on that? Uh, well, I'm a I'm bridled optimist. Um, I truly think, when given the real opportunity, the vast majority of people are rational actors, um, even in economics. Um, I think of basic income, I think of people like my mother or the people I grew up with who were brilliant and would find ways that that $500 a month could really get to needs that maybe I wouldn't be able to foresee for my perch. Um, so I think there'll be, it'll be as random as possible. Um, and for it to be realistic, there's gonna be some people who probably don't do quote unquote good things with the dollars, but previous studies have shown whether with the Alaska Permanent Fund in Alaska or the Eastern Band of Cherokee Native Americans that more often than not, folks do good things and ha have good outcomes when given more economic opportunity. And so what's the thesis here? What could they do with the $500 a month that could somehow 
I mean, obviously, it could make their lives better in the short run, but what could they do with it to propel their propel their lives in the long run? Yeah, well, I think it's very case specific. So for some people, it might be five hundred dollars enough dollars a month. Excuse me, is enough for them to enter back into the workforce because they're able to afford childcare. For some people, it might be five hundred dollars a month is enough for them to pay for their books at the community college level. Um, for some people, it might be five hundred dollars a month is enough for them not to have to work two or three jobs, but to stay home with stay home and spend time with their family or be a caregiver. Uh, for some people, it might be five hundred dollars a month might be enough um, to deal with rising rents and and pay utility bills, which average about five hundred dollars a month. For some people, five hundred dollars a month might be enough to start a savings, um, since one in two Americans don't currently have four hundred dollars saved for an emergency. Yeah, yeah, that is a stunning uh, fact. It was uh, mentioned in the Bernie Sanders Elizabeth Warren town hall the other night. A forty-six percent of Americans cannot survive a four hundred dollar bill. Uh, they would be bankrupt and and have to either take out a loan or 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 not be able to pay it. Uh, so uh, it, it's obviously something that could affect a lot of Americans. So now conservatives will say yes, but Mayor Tubbs, you'll never get that money back. So it's not a efficient way to spend the money. Uh, and if we just give it, it's just gone, and it's not an investment. It's not like it's a tax cuts for the rich in their point of view that stimulate the economy, and then you you get it back into the economy. That's that's what they will say. So how do you answer that? Yeah, I'm, I'm not an economist, so I, I go strictly by com, com, common sense. Um, and most people I know who are struggling in the economy are sometimes our biggest consumers. So I see a lot of those five hundred dollars being spent on other small businesses within the city. Um, helping the city generate more sales tax dollars, et cetera, at all. So I think the best investment we can make is, is, is our, in our people, but especially the vast majority of people who are currently struggling in our economic system. And I think an investment in them is probably more important to the long-term viability of our democracy than an investment in those who are already doing incredibly well. Yeah, and there is, of course, a theory on how that money circulates much more if you give it to people who will immediately spend it, because almost all of them, other than the you know the small amount of savings that you alluded to earlier, will, by definition, since they live in poverty, will have to spend it, and then it goes right back into the economy. So that'll be an interesting part of the experiment as well. And and I see in Stockton, you the average household income or median is forty four thousand seven hundred ninety seven, which is way below rest of California, which is at over $61,000. So that's another reason why it'll probably very likely go right back into the economy. So will there be a number of experiments here? Is this, you do this first one, let's say you pick people randomly or however you got, you know, the the academics and the politicians, et cetera, the representatives wind up picking them. Then mm -hmm. will there be, for example, when they give loans to small business across the world, different organizations do. They have noticed, and it's not a good thing, uh, and I wish it weren't the case because I'm a guy, you're a guy. But it turns out women spend it a lot better. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so is there gonna be a second experiment uh, where maybe you give it just to women and see if that mm. turns out to be better? I think that'd be a great idea if there's any funders who are interested in investing in Stockton women. Michael Tubbs, my email is mayor at stocktonca.gov. My Twitter is at Michael D. Tubbs, we'd be very interested I'm entertaining that as well because the idea is that we think a guaranteed income can be an answer, but we also understand there's a multitude of answers, and we are the people hit oftentimes the hardest by a lot of the contemporary issues we're having in society. So we're being very bold and wise about seeking opportunities to 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 try new things that would better the conditions for for the folks. Yeah, and look, I, I want to be clear, and this is back and forth. My my sense, I, I'm not sure it's going to work. I have no idea, and and that's why I'm really curious about it. And it might not work, or it might, or we might, it might not work. But we might learn something tangential that winds up being really important that we could use in another program. Or this one might not work, and the next one might work if you direct it towards women or some other way of structuring it. Maybe 500 is not the right number. Maybe it's a thousand. Maybe we should do an experiment with a thousand. So I I, I can't wait, <laughs> can't wait no, to no, see how it, this is going to turn out. And I'm in complete agreement with you. And I also think we probably both agree that the current system is not working for the vast majority of people either. So we have to begin thinking about, okay, where are some other things we can do to improve and, and work on the social safety net? So I'm a nerd and I'm incredibly excited to see what happens. Like when it's out in the world, when people have it, 
what actually happens and how do we take those learnings and translate that into policy. So I'm, I'm in full agreement with you. Yeah, and um, and and it's great that you got private public uh, cooperation here to so you can raise the money uh, from other places as well. So uh, now uh, I, I'm gonna have to have you back on the show uh, <laughs> once you guys have implemented it and then we see the results, no question about it. Uh, so, but I am curious now on a, on a separate note, go, to go back to what we started with. How in the world did you become mayor at the age of 26? How'd you win the race? Oh, uh, that's it. <laughs> um, well, I was on city council for four years. Um, and in Stockton at the time to run for city council, you had to run citywide. Um, so because of that campaign, I had built a citywide sort of following and base. And during the four years I was on city council, I worked really closely with community groups to really improve the southern part of the city. Um, so we opened health clinics, opened banks, closed problem liquor stores. And I, the community really responded to that leadership. And several people pushed me and urged me to run for mayor. So I ran and campaigned and ran ragged and door knocked and phone banked and got chased by dogs. And we were able to win the primary with eight people by nine points. And then we won the general with 71% of the vote. Um, but a lot of it, I, as a person of faith, I attribute it to that, but also just the hard work and kind of coalition we built over four years and really a track record of not being perfect, but actually getting things done. All right, Michael Tubbs, absolutely fascinating mayor uh, and a fascinating experiment in Stockton. Uh, everybody check out the links down below for the StocktonDemonstration.org, but also we'll put up the email that Michael um, I mentioned earlier in the show as well. So Mayor Tubbs, thanks for joining us, we appreciate Thank it. Thank you, brother.